So someone asked, do I always have to, uh, elong in, uh, to elongate letters to precision? Yani, the mudud are types, they're not all yani, wajib, but some of them you have to try to read it yani, to its length. And, yani, fattakullaha ma stata'atum. You know, fear Allah as much as you can. Um, yani, the two things that you have to be very careful if, of is the tajweed of the Quran is two types. There's huruf, makharij al huruf, and there's the sifat. The makharij al huruf, which is the pronunciation of the letters. How do you say the bad? How do you say the ha? How do you say the qaf? How do you say the kaf? How do you say the tha? How do you say the seed? Shad. These letters, the makharij, the letters, you have to learn them when you're learning the alphabet. And then there are sifat. And the sifat are two types, sifat aridha and sifat lazima, which are studied in tajweed. Where you now you're learning the ghunna. And where to say the ghunna and where not to say it, etc. Some people they just the entire recitation of the Quran, their noise, they're using their nose. The sifat al aridha is the hardest one because it, it comes and it goes. It's not consistent. So people tend to yani, struggle with that one. We tend to struggle with that one. So take some time out, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, kutub like Muqaddima to Al Jazari and other books help. And I ask Allah wa ta'ala to give us all the strength to learn that you read. Um, I myself, am, I'm definitely not the best person to advise you on that. So may Allah, Allah give us insight and knowledge on that.